guys, Isabel here and welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we're gonna be reacting to an additional video to the Monet series that I've been talking about. So I think we're almost done with the Monet series. The Zoom calls, there were several that I actually missed sadly because I just genuinely couldn't fit it in. They weren't recorded, so like I gen I missed some good ones, but you know what? There were good reasons, that's okay. But we have one today that we're gonna be reacting to. So this one says, let's get some VIPs. So before I hop into today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, click the bell button down below so you'll be notified of every single video I post. So you guys, I actually have a little theory that I wanna throw out there with you guys. As I've been looking through this group chat that I'm on, I am thankfully on a specific Monet group chat and I'm on like a couple others, but there's one specific one I'm on that it's it's nice. It's kind of showing some like posts about what you're supposed to learn and what you have been learning in regards to some of the calls. A lot of them have been focusing on mindset and sales recently. Question is right now, are they trying to give the illusion that they're training on sales more, right? Like, so that way they can have that in their back pocket of, oh, well, we do t train on sales. So that way they don't have as much of a, you know, vibe of, well, pyramid scheme. So this is gonna be the video that we will listen to. Anyways, let's get going. I have not been able to sleep because of my excitement over, I mean, this training. Yes, this training, what I, what I know. <laughs> All right, all right, y'all, hands on deck. We know if they say they can't sleep, if they say that something big is coming, buckle the fuck up because it's something, it's coming. I don't know what it is. Get ready because this training is gonna be life changing. This training, what I, what I wanna bring to you, but also my excitement just in life in general. So it was funny because I was thinking uh, about how it's real, real difficult to follow uh, an act like the ones that have been that have already performed right so like <laughs> the the amazing SUDs that have already trained us this month on this director days I'm I, I was thinking about it I was like oh my gosh talk about standing on the shoulders of giants these women are just truly incredible I have learned so much from every single training and listen, I've been around for five and a half years. My name is Rachel Roth, by the way, in case we haven't met and in case I don't know you, I'm Rachel. I live in Fort Worth, Texas. But what I want to say to you is after I've been in this business for five and a half years and after five and a half years, I've heard a lot. I've, I've heard a lot of trainings. I am floored by the trainings that have happened this month so far. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Now, I need to just sit, like, literally, I'm sorry, but this is funny, and it's such BS to me, because we've got a good taste of some of the previous trainings, right? Like, literally, go back to, I think, like, the last three Monet calls were part of this, like, summer day series or whatever. Y'all, they weren't impressive by any means. We had one that was about sales, that a lot of it was actually wrong. MLMs, but also the real world in general in regards to just any sale. We've had some stuff from Mindset. It was still BS and very culty. None of it was very mind-blowing. Maybe they were more creative with some of the ways that they vocalize stuff, but to me it wasn't like, oh my god, transformative. I'm sorry, this is just another way of being like, you should be thankful that you get to hear this. So far, so if you have missed a single training on this director days, we have recordings for every single one of them. So reach out and get the recording because I promise you it will rock your world. That's how good I can get the recording. You know what? I'm about ready to find out how to do that. It is, <laughs> and I am not joking. Okay. In the comments, write so far what your favorite takeaway is that you have gotten from these trainings. I wanna know because I know what mine are. And so anyway, y'all put them in there. Today, what I wanna talk to you about is I wanna talk to you about mastering, motivation and encouragement, self-confidence. I love it, yes. I wanna talk to you about mastering the art of VIP acquisitions. That is a fancy word for getting a lot of customers. That's what that is, okay? So let's talk about how, what the process has been for me personally and how it has kind of snowballed. And I will, I, listen, I'm an open book. I wanna tell you every single thing I have ever learned because honestly, the more that we all succeed, the more we all succeed. The, the better money it is, the better we all look, the better, the more attracted people are to us, right? I want you to succeed. So I am an open book and I'm going to give you every single secret. It's not really a secret because you can have it all, 
but I'm going to tell you everything I do and please going to get all the information. So here's already what I'm getting from this. If there's some actual good information to get VIPs and everything, that is wonderful. That's great. And again, like, let's be real here. That's what we would want for any company and MLMs. Like if we focus on customers, there would be no MLM like concept. That would just be affiliate marketing, which is super. That's sick. I love affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is brilliant and so useful. It's not the same as this by any means, but it's wonderful. And guess what? You don't need a downline to do well. You can sell and market off products and do very financially awesome off of affiliate marketing. So I want that to be promoted. I do. Again, let's hope and cross our fingers that this does well. I don't know how this can snowball per se, unless you have a downline that's essentially helping add to your like VIP inventory. Yeah, like your VIP inventory. So I don't know. We will see. Please ask me questions because I will answer them. And anyway, okay, let's get started. So with VIPs, VIPs are so important. It is really the bread and butter which is such an overused term, but it is, it's, it's the foundation for a strong business. I want you to think about if every single one of your market partners on your team, if you and every single one of your market partners on your team got, let's say eight new customers a month, let's say two a week, every single week, what would that do for your business? That's $800 minimum of new volume from every single person on your team. It is so possible to do this. It is so possible and more. I mean, I, I get more than that, but let me tell you kind of what I do and how this, this works for me. And I want to teach you. Okay. So it starts, it's, it starts before the VIP conversation, to be honest, it really does. I'm going to sit back. Like we're like, you're like, like you're just sitting across from me at my desk and we're chatting. Okay. It really does start before the VIP conversation. And I'm going to tell you why <laughs> it is about trust. And I know that, you know, this, I know that, you know, it's about trust, but what I want you to really think about is I want you to think about what are the conversations you are having, whether it is in person with your network, whether it is people that are referring you, you know, their friends or whatever, because they love the products, whether it is leads that you've gotten on social media, people that are reaching out to you. This starts with a true foundation of trust, truly having their best interest at heart. Okay, absolutely. I completely agree with what she's saying. And you know what actually kind of bothers me is the fact that something I will completely say, I think there are a lot of brilliant people in the multi-level marketing industry, but brilliant in a way of either they use their brilliance for just being in the MLM or they get so high up in the company that they don't care and they use their brilliance and play stupid. You know what I mean? They play stupid about the scam. They play stupid about the numbers. They don't really care. But the, our, the discussion about trust in regards to sales, yeah, absolutely. You want people to trust you if you're going to sell. What I personally, I've said this many times, I truly think a lot of top leaders, for example, or anyone else, sometimes unknowingly are trained to be very good at being manipulative. And I know there are many people that are in the MLMs where they don't even realize that's what's happening, but it builds up to being a very manipulative thing. And that trustworthiness is BS because there's nothing to back it up. It's pretty much like in a way hearsay, it's kind of like a trust me because I said so. When you wanna make someone trust your company with that, you need to be able to provide something that actually has physical proof. But that's the thing is if you actually like go out of your way to have conversations with a lot of people in the MLM companies, there's no actual like proof or numbers or anything to make this a trustworthy company. And I know that on paper, you can say, and just in conversation, you can say, oh, of course I have their best interest at heart. Of course I do. But I want you to like, really think about this. Do y'all remember now? I mean, I know we're all different age groups and everything else, but do y'all know those old cartoons where maybe, uh, fox like a boy fox i'm like picturing like this boy fox sees a girl fox and he thinks she's really pretty and there's heart googly eyes do you know what i'm talking about like give me a thumbs up if you know what i'm talking about so he sees he sees this girl across the way and he's got these heart googly eyes right i want you to seriously ask yourself <laughs> if you have dollar sign googly eyes when a vip or a potential vip approaches you because here's what the truth is the truth is, is that if you have dollar signs in your eyes, every time you are talking to a potential customer or a potential VIP, they can smell it on you. <laughs> they can smell it. 
like BO and it is not attractive. It is not attractive. Okay, let's let's get serious here. What does that mean? You have dollar star signs in your eyes. Like genuinely, I'm trying to understand what does this mean to people? How do you define that look or that vibe? So what I want you to think about, we want, we want to smell pretty, right? Like you want to smell like lemongrass and lavender and the pretty smells, right? We don't want that kind of BO. We do not want that. So what we need to do, I'm trying to see faces. Faces, and I can't, I can't see faces. Okay. So that's okay. Um, but I want you to ask yourself, have you built trust with your potential audience, right? Have you built trust with them? Do they trust you and trust what you're recommending because you have successfully recommended other things as well? Are you only recommending things that you make money off of, right? I fell into that trap because I've got like a like to know it account and, you know, other things like that. And you can really kind of fall into that trap where you're trying to monetize. It's a business, right? You're trying to monetize every single thing. But I changed my focus on that. And instead of worrying, because that's, you, you might nickel and dime people, but that's never going to get you to where you want to be, truly. And so when you have the outlook of, I am going to give value regardless of what I get back, something magical happens. All right, let's stop this here. So I understand the concept of giving value. Also at the same time, don't think it's wrong for people to want to get compensated for their work because it is work. And so I, I feel like this is a partial way of trying to be like, hi, if you're not making money right now, ignore that because if you're providing value, then that's important because I like I don't like that MLM world that we're having this discussion because if you are essentially going to be used as a volunteer to promote every product an inch of a company so hard, Hard, you should get compensated for that. You absolutely should. And if anything, your work should be compensating you just in general. Your effort should be. I also, at the same time, again, like there is nothing wrong for people at an MLM who are trying to start out. There's nothing wrong with them expecting to be compensated for their efforts and work. People can sense that. They can sense that. Okay, I want you to tell me, have you ever had a conversation with somebody and you, they say all the right things, and you're, you're having this great conversation. They're saying all the right words, but you leave the conversation and you say, I think something was off about that guy. He said all the right things, but something we're, we're currently shopping for insurance and we're experiencing this, right? Have you ever shopped for a car or anything like that? You're like, he said all the right words, but something felt off about him. Guess what that? So my question is, do you think that it's wrong then for people to look at this lady, for example, I don't know her name, but do you, if she is gonna run with this argument, do you think it's wrong then for her to look at, like for other people who are watching this to look at her and be like, mm, she's saying all the right things, but something is off. Is it only okay then for other people to do it to external things, but absolutely not okay if someone is focusing that energy on Monet and saying, mm, Monet gives me bad vibes. Like that's my thing is if I approach this woman and I said, you know, Monet says all the right things, but I don't feel good about it. How would she respond to that? And that's another thing too, is how would you respond to prove that I, my, my feelings then are overthinking and irrational? That is called intuition. God gave it to you. God gave you intuition. But I want you to think about yourself. When you have dollar signs coming out of your eyeballs, when you're talking to somebody, their God-given intuition can pick up on that. And we don't want that, okay? Let's run with what she's saying. If that's the case, then why do you guys get so bothered when people don't want to have anything to do with it? If it's if this whole problem with the MLM is people having dollar signs, their eyes, they're not doing it right, why are you so offended by people wanting to stay away from Monet? If it's not our fault. Okay. Let me, let me see here. Let me see here. I've got, I've got to make sure I've got all my notes here. Got all my notes. I want to, I, I, I prepared for an hour yesterday, an hour this morning, because I like really want you to know what I do, how I do it and why it works. Okay. So that is the foundation. That is the foundation of everything you need to focus on before the VIP conversation. Like what the fuck are you supposed to be trustworthy? How do you be trustworthy? This is why I say these people absolutely suck with even conversation about sales because like, how is this gonna help someone? Like literally, if you're talking about, hey, who give off this energy and that's not good, fix it. Where's the to-do list on how to unfuck that? Like why are we making people be like, yep, okay, I need to work on that. 
but they don't know what to work on or how to fix it. Like genuinely. Bringing value in every single post, not having dollar signs in your eyeballs with every conversation, not worrying about nickeling and dining every single person over every single thing, right? Find a, find a makeup that you love. You know, I love state makeup is what I don't use all their makeup. But I use other stuff too, but I do have another MLM some state makeup that I really like the girl that I buy it from. She's the sweetest thing in the whole world. And every time I do a makeup tutorial that includes Saint makeup, I tag her in it and I say, listen, I don't sell Saint makeup. You can't get it from me, but you can get it from my friend, Jesse. Go get it from Jesse, right? This does me no good. Jesse's never given me a free product. I buy every single thing, right? This does not benefit me in the least. It is truly selfless value that you're bringing to people. It will impact people more than you can possibly imagine when you have that heart with what you do. Okay, let's talk about getting leads. And I want to talk about on social media. This really can be translated into any conversation, anything at all. So don't think that this has to be just on social media. But I want to talk about my pro my process on like on Instagram when I get when I get comments and direct messages and stuff like that. Okay. So let's, let's talk about my process and how I just got 30, 30 VIPs in 30 days. Okay. So the first thing is, is if you, oh, I'm cutting out. Am I cutting out for anybody else? Somebody just said I'm cutting out. No. Okay. Good. Okay. Good, 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 good. Um, okay. So let's talk about your direct messages. When somebody Oh, no, I'm sorry. When somebody, I got, I got distracted. When somebody, when you're posting in your stories, I learned a little trick. <laughs> I was cutting out for you a lot. Guys, I think maybe, it, I don't know. Ugh, I'm really sorry. It's not cutting out for everybody. So I think it's okay. I'm just going to keep plowing ahead, okay? So when you post in your stories about a flash sale, when you, put, when you post about something, when you post about a product that you love, here's what I want you to remember. Do not post your link. Instagram does not like it when you post your link and it also cuts out this next step that I'm about to tell you. If you post your link, it, it takes people away from Instagram, away from Instagram. Instagram doesn't like that. Instagram wants everybody to stay on their platform. The fuck it doesn't. Oh, <laughs> quick question. Quick question, my love. Why the hell then did Instagram create links accessible to people with less than 10,000 followers? Because before on Instagram, you had to, I think, hit 10,000 followers in order to have uh, the swipe up option, which again, like that's still, I think, a, a thing. But now they have it to where links, like anyone can post up a link. They made that on purpose. They're not, not prioritizing it. And I use links. That hasn't negatively impacted me. If anything, it's done me good. But the fact that you're like, don't post a link. So don't post a link. Be okay, let's, let's think about this realistically. I have an idea where she's going. So which one do we prefer y'all? Do we prefer the one where we see someone post a thing like, a, oh shit, let's see. Um, this phone case, love this phone case. It's this beige phone case off of Amazon. If I talk about this, a quick photo, right? And I'm like, here's the phone case link in the description versus you having to DM me to get it. Which one's gonna be easier? Just clicking the link and buying the damn thing, okay? I shouldn't have to have a conversation with you for you to go purchase it. And I feel like that's what's gonna happen because it's gonna add a new avenue to have conversations and connections. And so when you post your link, Instagram doesn't like it because if it takes them to, a, uh, to an external, absolutely put it in your bio, absolutely. I'm just saying on your Instagram stories where you want to, you want to push people to those stories to see, right? Just don't post your link there. You encourage them instead. Literally, like again, if Instagram was that up everyone's ass about it, they would not have developed that additional feature. They would never have done that at all because now everyone has access to it. I am so tired of people. Like this is what upsets me. As I sit here and I know that there's a lot of different like views in regards to social media perspectives. And for people that like want to try and actively use social media, we have people like this that misuse it or spread misinformation. Like, Dude, come on. Encourage them instead to direct message you. There it is. What I said, what I say. I told, I fucking, I knew it. I knew you were gonna be like, we need to make organic conversations. Don't post on your Instagram story, your link to your product. That's too easy. And you can't recruit them if you do that. We need to have, oh my, are you kidding me? I thought this at least could be better because it was more sales focused. What in the hell? Shoot me a DM if you're interested. I would love to chat with you more. Send me a DM.
DM, right? I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. I post up um, links about some products that I purchase and things on my Instagram. And those got great clicks. But if I said, just DM me for the link, no one's going to waste their time on that. That's too much extra work. You get people to message you directly. This is very important because this is where the magic happens. Okay. When they direct message you, also, I have pauses in my thought process, which I'm pausing. So if you're hearing cutting out, it might just be me not talking for a minute. Um, okay, here's what I want you to think. If somebody sends you a direct message, here's what I want you to picture. I am not even kidding you. I can see into my kitchen right now from my office. I have an island in the kitchen and I have bar stools on one side of the kitchen. If you came to my house right now, or if you came to my house for dinner tonight, right? You would come in the door. I would welcome you in the door. And you would come sit at, at the island on one of those bar stools, and I would get you a drink, a glass of wine, whatever it is that you wanted, right? I would get you a glass of wine. I'd probably be cooking in the kitchen, and I would love, my next door neighbor does this all the time. She comes and she sits there, and we just talk about life. I'm cooking in the kitchen. We're both having a glass of wine. We're talking like old friends, right? When somebody sends you a direct message, I want you to picture that they have just walked into your home, and they are sitting at your island in your kitchen and you guys are having a glass of wine and talking over hors d'oeuvres or while you're while you're making dinner does that make sense you they are i know i've said this in the previous video but genuinely they don't know shit about sales i get making connections i understand that but literally our world today wants convenience i want convenience i do if i see a like a other content creator youtuber if i have to message them to get anything i am not picturing oh i could have a connection with them like no i'm picturing i want that fucking link that's it this is not like come on now i feel like also that's why the concept of door-to-door -door sales has dropped a lot because convenience and things online have been easier that's why like for example on instagram they have like instagram shops to where like you can shop through instagram because convenience coming into your home when they come to your instagram and they message you directly they have walked into your personal space and it's your job to make them feel comfortable elizabeth exactly make them feel comfortable and warm and like girl i've got you let me take care of you because if somebody came into your home wouldn't they wouldn't they say to you doesn't a wonderful host say come in let me take care of you Okay, Sarah, this isn't a fucking house party. This is an MLM party, okay? Where you apparently have to have a conversation and get the safe word to get the product. That is excessive. I take care of you. What can I do to make you comfortable? What, what can I get you to drink, right? This is how you need to approach the conversation. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to greet them warmly, and then you are going to send them the hair questionnaire. Not the hair quiz from Monate. You should have a personal hair questionnaire or, or skin. Okay, I'm just gonna talk about hair. No. No. What the hell do you know how to ask someone of what would work for their hair or not? Like one, at this point, you have the same knowledge as the person that's selling you the Emma La Monet product. So it doesn't matter really if someone's gonna be like, oh my God, do you have dry hair? <gasps> the dry hairline when it says dry hair and bold. You know what I mean? Oh my God, you have no volume. The volume, that is literally a connect the dots thing, all right? So I don't know why it's necessary to make a quiz when one, it's not like you're actually asking questions that a legit stylist would know, but you're going out of your way to like make this a like scavenger hunt for a product. That is not smart. Um, but this could go for skin as well. You just make it your own. When you send a hair questionnaire, uh, I mean, I have one that's like five questions. And it just kind of goes over the full description. Is your hair thick or thin? Is it fine or coarse? Is it curly? Is it straight? Do you air dry? Do you blow dry? All of these questions that are pertinent and important to know for the right recommendations for products, right? So you need to send them, hey girl, send me these, these uh, answers about your hair so that I can personally recommend the best products for you, okay? So send the hair questionnaire. When they respond, this is important. You need to empathize with what they are saying. Okay. Empathize with their problems. If your neighbor came over to your house, or if you came to my house and you sat at my island and you said, oh, Rachel, you know, life is good, but this is going on and this is going on and this is going on. I wouldn't skate over that. I would say, oh my gosh, tell me more. Tell, let me, let me help. Let me help give advice. Let me, let me be a listener. Let me, whatever. But like you are engaged and you are empathizing with what they're telling you, right? 
This is the same thing with VIPs. This is the same thing, whether or not you've ever met this person. I just had 30 new VIPs sign up. I don't know a single person in, in real life, but they feel like they know me, right? Because I treat them like they are in my kitchen and we're making dinner and having a glass of wine together. Oh, okay, so empathize with their issues. And here's the important part. You need to explain why this is happening to their hair. I... <laughs> I think not. I think not. You're gonna tell them why this is happening. So you're gonna first of all ask them what's wrong with the hair. And then you're gonna be like, Brenda, I am, I just, I feel for you. You know, like my hair fucking sucked. But you wanna know why your hair sucks? <laughs> you wanna know why your hair sucks? It's because you're not using Monet. So I'm gonna send you a list of products that are gonna total up to be $200, but wait for that flash sale and it's gonna be $199. And then your hair is gonna be just phenomenal so you in ew their current issues is their hair dry on the ends but oily on the roots is their hair whatever it is it doesn't matter it doesn't matter pick the issue but you need to explain why it is happening when that happens it is because of we all know this right it's because is their hair dry on the ends oily on the roots dry whatever it doesn't matter it's because of the toxic ingredients that are in their current products it doesn't matter <laughs> It doesn't matter. According to this lead, it doesn't fucking matter what's wrong with your hair. What's wrong with your hair is because everything is just toxic and the world is toxic unless it's a Monet. Oh my God. Y'all, I'm done. <laughs> I can't. How do you do this? How the hell? I am not a professional, but I know damn well things like the environment that you live in, the quality of your water. I learned that. Oh, y'all, I had shitty water and then I had to filter that and then it got so much better. And then I was like, oh my God, yeah. The weather, the weather, the sky, the sun, the fucking sun will rock my shit. That's life, okay? Like there's there's so many things. Just yeah, maybe using the wrong products, absolutely. But the fact that your response is, it doesn't really matter what their problem is. You just have to immediately say, well, there's toxins in your, there's chemicals and toxins and bad, scary things in your products and that's why it's happening. I have been recently trying this and again, this is just what's worked for me. I am someone that has oily scalp and dry ends. Y'all, this shit, oh. Got it at Target, okay? You can order it off of Amazon too. It's phenomenal. It's really, really good stuff. There are amazing products out there for you that have good ingredients that have nothing to do with Monet. The fact that she's also demonizing every other pro hair care product pretty much, besides theirs, what the fuck? That are coating their hair and causing these problems. So you must explain to them, hey, actually, it's because blah, 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 blah. This is why this is happening. Your follicles get clogged up and your body's natural response is to overproduce oil to try to purge those, those clogged follicles. It's kind of like your pores on your face. When your pores are clogged, your face overproduces oil to try to purge those pores. Blah, 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 blah. You give them an explanation to understand why their problem is happening. Rachel, sorry, I just saw her name on the, I haven't been paying attention. Rachel, what is your certification to understand skin, right? Um, what is your certification on hair? I would love to know what school of Monet that you went to to get this certificate of bullshit at, but it's not working, okay? Uh, literally, it's fine if you give recommendations of, hi, this is what I use, good shit, I like it. I use a lot of stuff, right? It's another thing though, when you surpass the recommendations to giving complete answers and full on advice and even giving explanations, like that is a little weird. That's very important, okay? And you gotta, you keep it quick, right? I usually send, one to two minutes on Instagram, you can send only a minute. Actually, I'm gonna also say this. I really hope some people that follow her come across this because this is what she's selling you. She's giving you the same answer for every, it's not a customized response. And that's the thing is, that's what the questionnaire is giving the illusion of. You're gonna get a special customized response, which let's be real here. Most of the answers are gonna be very obvious. If you go on Monet, you can see, like for even for example, with um, this Odell brand, they have volumizing shampoo, they have, they have different types you know like what to try and shoot for if you're shopping by yourself. Same damn thing. Monet has topics or whatever for different types of hair problems. But the questionnaire and the let me help you and explanation is giving you the illusion that you have a professional that is giving you a customized concept and plan. None of this is customized. 
Not one bit. And the fact that they're giving that illusion, again, is trying to build this trust concept up. And that is so gross. Like, I can't even imagine having someone, like, being pretty much exposed for having this idea of, this is what I just tell everyone and it works. Are you proud of that? Message, obviously. So I send one or two of those messages kind of explaining why they have this problem. Okay, so after you do that, you're gonna explain why, how my need is different. How is my need different than every other hair product and shampoo and conditioner that you've ever used ever in your life? How is it different? You know this, you know it's different. You are selling these products, you are, you are building a business with money. So simply because you know that a product's good, it's good for everyone else, that is dumb. That is very dumb. How is Monet different? Bingo, if I'm trying to pitch to Shark Tank, <laughs> if I'm trying to pitch to Shark Tank and I'm like, hi y'all, um, I made the shampoo and conditioner, right? It's so good. And they're like, why is it good? Cause I believe it. <laughs> they would kick my ass out. Who does, this is not how you sell. This is not how you sell. Because of how great the products are. Can't plan everything else, but like, would you be selling dirt? No, you are selling these products for a reason because they are amazing. When people come to you, they don't know why these products are so amazing. You must tell them how is money different and why are they going to get a different result because of that? And I'm talking quick guys. This is not like a long drawn out thing. I'm giving you big descriptions here so that you can understand the, the background here, but this is why are they having these problems? How is money different and why is it going to get them a different result? Okay. So this is gonna pique their interest, right? So let me give you an example real quick. An example of that is your hair is oily at the roots, dry on the ends. That was me when I first started. Okay, hey Lauren, uh, actually there's a reason that this is happening. The reason that this is happening is because there is buildup on your hair. All the products that are out there on the market have fillers in them, kind of like fillers in food. And so what happens over time is that deposits on your hair and it builds up and it builds up and it builds up and it weighs you down and it coats your hair so that your hair can't breathe as well. Also, you've got oiliness on your roots and that's because your hair follicles are clogged and your body's natural response is to overproduce oil. And I use that comparison of the pores on the face and then it clicks in their brain and they're like, wow, that makes a lot of sense. So the, the difference with Monate, this is what I say every single time, here's the difference with Monate and what you're gonna experience. Monate is gonna gently remove that buildup off of your hair and off of your skin. Good fuck. So you give the exact identical response of how different experience with Monet. No, like that, again, the fact that you also, also are labeling a product that will apparently remove buildup off of your hair and you'll claim that every product will do that is weird. So again, if you have dry hair, oh, well, it's just gonna remove the buildup and make it better. Out and out of your follicles. It's formulated on a molecular level to mimic your own human oil. And so because of that, it's going to gently remove that. And then it's going to deposit all of those amazing ingredients onto your scalp, onto your hair. Your hair can breathe again. You're going to have bounce and shine and volume. And it is truly going to transform your hair. And then you say, I'd love to make some recommendations for you, right? Their interest is so peaked at this point that they're like, oh my gosh, is this stuff like a million dollars? This has to be, if this is going to transform my hair like this, this got to be a million dollars. So during this whole ex explanation, I asked for their email address at the end of my, this is all, yes, all on, a, on, on an audio text. I asked for their email address because I want to send them a cart. Okay. So these two things just happened. I greeted them warmly. I sent them the hair quiz and I sent them an explanation for why they are experiencing what they're experiencing. All of this happened with like two minutes of an audio message back and forth. It's quick, right? And so then you ask for their email address. What I do personally is I go ahead and type out exactly what I am recommending for them. And the reason that I do that, I do that is because I want them to see everything that they're getting, everything that they are going to see in their cart, what the free gift is from one eight. Um, and then what free gift I'm going to give them. Typically I'm going to give them a free gift because I give every VIP a free gift when they sign up with me. Um, and that is because I want them to feel valued. You don't have to give them a free gift. You can give them samples. You can give them anything you want. You don't even have to do it. Money gives you a free gift. I have just gotten into the habit of showing my VIPs immediate appreciation and kind of building that loyalty right from the get-go by 
offering a free gift. It's also a great way where we all know that the more products that they get in their hands, the more that they're going to love money, right? And so it's a great way to get an extra product in their hands so that they really have a, a better variety to choose from so that they have the best results. Okay. So type out that quick message and say, I recommend for you, Renew Shampoo, Revitalize Conditioner, Volume and Lip Spray, and Moxie Mousse. I'm going to send you, you know, money is going to give you advanced hydrating mask as the free gift. I would love to send you a dry texture spray. It's my secret weapon for mega volume. And I use it after I blow dry my hair, right? So I send this in a message. The reason that I send it in a message is so that they can see and they can, they can line that up with what I'm sending in the cart, but also so that when I follow back up with them later, they, I have a reference point. Um, a, a free gift, Madison. I said like a free product. Usually it's a free styling product. So on flash sales, things like that, I am always uh, stocking up on my favorite products that I like to get out for free. Dry texture spray, dry spray. Dear, what the fuck? Yeah, no. Sh Remember that conversation before? They were like, yeah, that's, we, we need to always have sales. Like we need to have sales. That's super important. That's how you make money. You want to know what the main sales are with Monet? That kind of crap. The fact that she's like, well, I just stock up all the time. I just buy a bunch and then I give it away for free. That is a big reason why, in my opinion, Monet has so many sales because everyone buys every flash sale. And then this woman clearly buys a ton just to give away for free to her VIPs. Dude. Absolutely not. Shampoo, volume and lift spray because I like volume. I live in Texas. And so um, I typically stock up on those. And those are the free gifts that I that I usually offer. If it, listen, listen, girl, if it's like a flash sale and they're stocking up and they're getting 10 items, I don't worry about sending them a free gift. I might send them something later, but you know, you can be discerning on whether or not you should send a free gift. Okay. Um, but okay. So I write it all out so that I have a reference point so that when I go back in two weeks or they come back to me and say, I'm sorry, I, you know, lost track of things, but now I want to do this. I can go back and I can see their answers and I can see my recommendations. I can make sure that I still agree with my own recommendations. Right. But I don't have to go back and listen to all the audio messages. I've got it right there where I can send it quick. Right. This is about efficiency. Get it done. Okay. But in a, in a, heartfelt way, but like, you know, where you're not spending a ton of time, you know what I mean? Okay. So after you, you're going to send that, that audio, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the written text with the, with what you're recommending, then you're going to send the cart. And I'm telling you, this is important. <laughs> the minute you send that cart, you have got to send an audio message right away. I will not send a cart if I don't have the opportunity to immediately send an audio message explaining what they're going to see. Okay. Here's why. If they get a cart in the mail, they're going to be like in their email there. It's first of all, they're going to open it up and it's going to say, um, join as a VIP. And they're going to say, uh, does this mean that I have to sell these products? Does this mean I get that question all the time. If they don't listen to my audio message and they open up that email, they're like, uh, what? Even if they open up that email, they're going to come back to ask me questions and they're going to see that I sent two audio messages to them. And I'm going to tell you exactly what those audio messages say. I wrote out exactly what I said, or I mean, what I say, I wrote it out so that I could read it for you. Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to go back and read that question about audio messages, but here's the important thing about audio messages. They need to hear your voice. I was actually thinking about this this morning. If I've got, I've got two pages of notes here, right? Two pages of notes, single spaced. If I just said, Hey guys, you know what? I'm just tired this morning. We're leaving for Colorado this afternoon. Actually, I've got a lot of packing to do. I'm not, I don't want to come present to you. I don't want to come spend my morning with you. Instead of me coming and spending my morning with you, which I did want to, but I'm just saying, I, instead of me doing that, I'm just going to, I'm just going to shoot you an email with this two page word document, single space. I just want you to read over this and execute it. Just read over this and do what you will with it. Would that have the same power as me sitting in front of you, looking you in the eyes and saying, this works. Let me tell you why this works. Let me tell you why this works. No, there is no way that you could feel my passion, that you could feel my love for you, that you could feel my, my love for my VIPs. There's no way that you could feel that if I sent you a two-page Word document. You'd be like, well, this is boring, right? No, you would not have read the document. No, I wouldn't have. I would have been like, snooze fast. No, you wouldn't have read it. And so it is so important that you send an audio message 
because your customers, your potential customers, even if it's your friends, I do it with friends. I literally do this with friends where I send them an audio message, the same exact one to every single person so that they can hear my excitement. They can hear my passion. They can hear my sincerity. They can hear my heart in that message. Okay. So now let's talk about the two messages that you send, because this is what's going to help you close the deal. You can send cards all day long, but those cards will just stay in the ether. They will just stay in, in the, you know, email universe forever and ever and ever if you cannot close the deal. So let's talk about that. My two messages address every single concern that any VIP has ever brought to me. And I do it in two minutes. Okay. The first message says, okay, Lauren, I just sent your card over. When you open it up, when you open up your email, the first thing you're going to see is enroll as a VIP. I don't want that to throw you off. Becoming a VIP customer. I put customer in there. Becoming a VIP customer is the cheapest way to purchase products through money. You get a 15% discount on products. You get free shipping. You get a free gift with your order, which is that advanced hydrating mask that I was telling you about. You also get access to amazing flash sales that we have three to four times a month, as well as a treat on the month of your birthday. There's a $20 enrollment fee to sign up as a VIP, but you save more than $20 on your very first order just by becoming a VIP. So it literally pays for itself on the first order and you never have to pay it again. You are a VIP for life and you get all the perks forever and ever and ever. End. Done. Right there. You addressed what is a VIP? Does that mean you have to sell it? It's a customer, right? You addressed the VIP enrollment fee. You addressed all the things, right? All the perks of being a VIP. You, you talked about all of it. And you did it in a way that was like easy, no big deal, not a huge deal. It's not rocket science. It's not, uh, nobody's doing brain surgery over here. Nobody's, it's just VIP, no big deal. This is what you do. You don't even talk about it. I don't even, I literally don't even talk about the retail option. I don't talk about it at all. So that's the first message. It addresses everything right there. What's the second concern that people always have? The second concern that people always have is, is there an auto ship? I don't want to be on an auto ship where a random buck shows up on my doorstep unexpectedly. I don't want to do that. So I address that before they can address it with me. So I say, I say, usually at the end of that first message, I say, hang on, I want to tell you one more thing so that it's like a cliffhanger. And then they hop onto the next message. And on the next message, I say, okay, so when you click on join now as a VIP, the, the probably the second page you're going to see is something about a flex ship or a flex ship cart or something like that. Um, I want to explain what that is. We don't have an auto ship. We have something called a flex ship because it's completely flexible. So every 60 days, you're going to get an email and it's going to say, hey, Lauren, you've got an order coming up. What would you like to do? We can cancel that order, which is really just pushing it out. That's what that is. But you are canceling that order and pushing it out. But I don't use the words push it out because I don't want them to think that they are beholden or that they like that there's something on the line. You are essentially canceling that order and pushing it out two months. So I use those words. When you get that email, Lauren, you can either cancel it, we can edit what's in your cart, or we can keep what's in your cart. You never have to purchase products unless you are ready to purchase products. When you get that email, I get that email at the exact same time. I am going to proactively reach out to you and ask you how I can help you. I can help you cancel that order. I can help you edit your flex ship. Okay, we have a lot to talk about. So first of all, let's talk about this flex ship thing. The way that she's trying to do this is to me very pressuring. But yes, let's talk, because the second that she was talking about, oh, well, you know, it's it's not like a, a subscription or anything. I was like, whoa, the fuck up. So I have pulled the Monet um, Join Now program for the VIP customer stuff. So there is a VIP customer agreement for the program. So get this, it says VIP customer program requirements. The first one says, by becoming a Monet VIP customer and joining the VIP customer program, you agree to the following. A, you must pay a one-time $20 enrollment fee. B, you commit to the Monet flagship program as defined in section three, under which you must purchase three flagship orders. So the first one, which is your enrollment, and then two additional flagship orders at at least $84 or more. So they're not telling them that. They're like, oh, well, you can push it off. So you're not telling them that you have to by this agreement that you're technically signing, they push out your flex ship order up to 60 days at a time. You can customize the flex ship order, which okay, like great, but either way, you have to, when you sign up as a VIP, spend a fuck ton of money. All flex ship orders will be charged to your credit card 
or debit card on file with Monet. And by joining the VIP customer program, you authorize Monet to make charges to your credit card or debit card for all the flexship orders. I'm so done. I like literally the fact that they're like, it's not that big of a deal and they're hiding the key information. They're lying to you. So you don't talk about the retail option. You just simply talk about VIPs because you would rather get multiple shipments, at least guaranteed to other shipments probably. And you pro I'm sure you probably make it difficult for them to like, you know, get some help with canceling it. That's just my inference. It's funny how we mentioned apps absolutely everything besides how to get out of it and the other requirements of the shipments. Wow. So that's the first message. Push it out because I don't want them to think that they are beholden or that they like that there's something on the line. You are essentially canceling that order and pushing it out two months. So I use those words. When you get that email, Lauren, you can either cancel it. We can edit what's in your cart or we can keep what's in your cart. You never have to purchase products unless you are ready to purchase products. When you get that email, I get that email at the exact same time. I am gonna proactively reach out to you and ask you how I can help you. I can help you cancel that order. I can help you edit your flex ship, or we can keep what's in your cart. I put the exact same products in the cart that you're buying today, but here's the truth, Lauren. You are gonna see such a transformation in your hair in the next 60 days. We are probably going to edit your cart to, to have some other products because you're going to want to try something else in 60 days. I am so excited for you to try these. Let me know if you have any questions. The biggest thing I want you to know is that you're never going to get a box that shows up on your doorstep unannounced and that you don't want. I'm sure you don't want it if then all of a sudden you realize you're obligated by the agreement to purchase more. Rachel, why are we lying? Why are we making shit up? Done. I leave it there. I addressed all the things. We don't have an order ship. You don't have to order unless you want to order. Um, like it's, it's not whatever. You know what else I gave her? I gave her hope. Because I said, Lauren, you are going to see such an incredible transformation in your hair in the next 60 days. We're going to probably want to edit the, the products to be something else later, but we'll, we'll kind of uh, see how things are going in 60 days from now, right? She's like, she's, she, she, Lauren is coming to you because she wants to change her hair. She wants to fix a problem. You are giving her hope. You're giving her hope. And she's like, oh my gosh, I could do anything for 60 days. All I have to do is switch out the shampoo. I can do this. I can do this. This is easy. This is great. I can do this. You're giving her hope. And so she is going to, and if I have time, you know, everything is a little bit, um, like each one is unique. It's very, it's, it's similar in the sense that I, I really do have it memorized and I can like spout it off every single time, but when I do this, if I have time, I do pop in there. Hey, don't forget, Lauren, you have 30 days to try this. And if you don't love it, you can send it all back for a full refund, including your VIP enrollment fee. And the reason I add Yeah, but you're going to have to probably pay for shipping. So most of the time it won't be worth it, but sure. The reason that in is because that's the only reason that I bought these products to begin with. It's literally the only reason that I tried Marnie was because I could return it. And I was like, sweet, send this back in 27 days. There's no chance this stuff works. No chance. So I bought it. And then I washed my hair one time and was like, what is this unicorn dust? What is this, right? Y'all, this is it. That is it. That is all I do. But you are getting into the psychology of people's minds you know angelic translation i'm trying to find a way how to manipulate you how to make you feel special when i really don't give a shit and i just want your money and i want you to get stuck for the rest of the enrollments and things pardon what the hell you did such a good job on the training talking about how sales is really psychology and it is and you are getting into the psychology of what makes people buy but your heart is pure. And so because your heart is pure, you are getting into the psychology, but you're only selling them something that is best for them. Right. And so that's the thing that's important. So this entire exchange is about five to, it takes me personally about five to seven minutes. And that's it. Like, so I know I just talked to you for 35 minutes, kind of explaining my process. 
this is not a 35 minute process with all 30 VIPs I just signed up. Yeah, okay, so you get 30 VIPs, right? Let's just say. And then after all their auto ships are done and they're tired, they may not renew it or wanna have anything to do with you again. So the concept of trustworthiness and loyalty, um, that's gone because you threw that shit down the garbage disposal when you misled them into a damn enrollment. I assure you, right? It is a quick, quick, quick because you don't want to, you don't want to keep them for too long. Um, okay, this is what they feel. They feel acknowledged, they feel understood. They feel like somebody cares about their specific heartache. They have a partner, you, a partner, helping them address their concerns. They know exactly what you are recommending and why you are recommending it. They know exactly what to expect in the email. They know exactly what to expect in the future, both with their hair and with their flex shift, right? They can tell that you truly care about them because you're, you are being so transparent with them, you know? And so... I want you to think about, here's, here's the last thing I'm going to say. And I wrote this down because I really, truly believe it. Success is a byproduct of your heart. Where your heart is, is going to dictate whether or not you are successful. No, because we have some shitty ass people right now in our world, like some MLM top leaders who ignore facts who don't give a shit and who just want to make money. Now, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you here. Like, again, no billion, there's no way a billionaire could be ethical. You know what I'm saying? That kind of stuff, all right? There's no way that every person on the planet that's successful is ethical and good. That literally makes no sense. Acting as if that this not truly displaying the realities of the flex ship is being a good person is not okay. And so my... If your heart's not in the right place and all you see is dollar signs, your success is gonna be very short-lived. If your heart is in the right place and you have a heart to serve and you have a heart to grow and you have a heart to make others' lives better and bring them value, whether it's doing a makeup tutorial on Instagram or a recipe that you love or teaching somebody how to steam a shirt, it doesn't matter what it is. Your heart will dictate your success. And so staying in the mindset that you are a student of life, you are a student always, you're a student of this business, you're a student of this product, but you are a student of life. Nobody on this planet has it all figured out except God. That's it. God's the only one who knows all things. And so that means that there's room and opportunity for us to grow. When you keep that student mindset, you stay humble, you stay hungry and then you- So what I'm getting from this is, is now we are labeling, um, I'm gonna not give everyone the information as I'm being, I have a good heart. We're labeling this as having everyone's best interest at heart when clearly that's not the case. Whoa, I like, again, the last one sales was bad. This is manipulative as hell. I will believe that completely. Anyways, that was it for today's video. That was a very, very long one to react to. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And then we'll see you guys in the next video. Stay glowing, my beautiful queens. Love you. Bye.